Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel US Updates. Today we are back with the latest information regarding the submersible. The five people who perished aboard the Ocean Gate submersible were likely aware of the impending implosion between 48 and 71 seconds before it occurred, according to an expert who likened the scenario to a horror movie. Spanish engineer and underwater expert Josie Louis Martin offered a timeline for the doomed Titan's final moments before it was destroyed on June 18. Less than two hours into its dive to the Titanic shipwreck. During the controlled immersion of the Titan, there must have been an electrical fault which left the craft without thrust, he told the Spanish news outlet NIUS, according to the English language Diario AS. Without thrust, the weight of the passengers and the pilot, which was about 400 kilograms and was focused on the front end close to the viewport, would have disrupted the Titan's longitudinal stability. Martin explained. He said he believes the deadly malfunction occurred at a depth of about 5,500 feet. At this point, the submersible begins to fall headlong towards the sea floor, and with control and safety functions damaged, it can no longer be maneuvered, Martin theorized in his report. The pilot, Ocean Gate CEO Stockton Rush, couldn't have activated the emergency lever to drop weights and return to the surface, the expert said adding that the lever was an inadequate device for such an emergency. The Titan changes position and falls like an arrow vertically because the 400 kilos, 880 pounds of passengers that were at the porthole unbalanced the submersible, he wrote. Everyone rushes and crowds on top of each other. Imagine the horror, the fear and the agony. It had to be like a horror movie, added the expert, who believes that everything happened during 48 to 71 seconds of free fall. During that time, the group was aware of the seriousness of the situation, he said. In that period of time, they are realizing everything and that's more in complete darkness. It's difficult to get an idea of what they experienced in those moments, Martin wrote. As it fell to the depth of the ocean, the hull would have been subjected to a sudden increase in underwater pressure, leading to a powerful compression of the sub's carbon fiber hull at a depth of around 9,000 feet, he continued. The rapid contraction of the hull would have been out of step with that was happening to the acrylic material of the viewport, leading to a microfissure and implosion, Martin said. After those 48 seconds, for one minute, the implosion and instantaneous sudden death occurs, he, the expert added. Structural issues with the hull have been cited among the causes of the deadly implosion. Virginia Tech Ocean Engineering Professor Stefano Brizolara have suggested that the vessel's pressure hull could have had a defect that may have fractured under the immense pressure. It is difficult to say what caused the structural failure in this case, but any small material and geometric imperfection, misalignment of connection flanges, tightening torque of bolted connection may have started the structural collapse. Bizolara told the Post recently. Bizolara said that carbon fiber is very prone to possible defects and that it exhibits a more fragile behavior than other materials. The expert said any small leak at the extreme depth would have sent water gushing in at a speed of about 620 mph, killing everyone in instantly. Ocean Gate CEO and Titan pilot Stockton Rush, 61, French Titanic expert Paul Henry Nagelet, 77, and British billionaire Hamish Harding, 58, prominent Pakistani businessman Shahzada Daud, 48, and his 19-year-old son Suleiman Daud all died in the disaster. Oceangate has declined to comment since the tragedy and suspended all exploratory and commercial operations amid intense criticism of Rush for what some perceive as lax attitudes about safety that may have contributed to the accident. That's all till now for the latest updates. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.